Hey everybody, this is Perch, and I uh, want to draw to your attention the highest selling comic that Marvel is doing right now that is uh, uh, probably doing, I mean, it, it's a little bit of a, <laughs> it's harder to count because it's, you know, well, you'll understand, the distribution's coming a different way, but I think if you do, if you are able to kind of match up the numbers and, and do some conversions, then you're probably talking about, about a book that's doing around 350 to 400,000 uh, copies a month. Uh, that's not how it's sold, but you'll understand in a moment. But it's uh, it's a pretty impressive book, and uh, you know I don't know why Marvel isn't talking about this more often. Uh, you'd think this would be something that they they'd want to promote. Um, well, one of the reasons why they may not be is because this actual comic that's doing so well for them is uh, not being produced by them. It's by Shueisha for Shonen Jump, and the title is Deadpool. It's uh, it's basically manga. And it's uh, Deadpool Samurai. This is releasing through the digital app in Japan. Uh, but the numbers and in terms of the how how they're able to pull subscribers in and everything else suggest that it's doing, I don't know, similar similar versions to My Hero Academia at the moment. Um, it's it's wildly wildly successful. How did this happen? And and wait a minute, what's going on? Another company is producing this. Yes, um, back in 2019. Uh, Shueisha did some, a bunch of kind of Marvel one shots as a bit of a, you know, a, a promotional kind of combined thing. It took a number of uh, Japanese artists and it, uh, it, it, it basically, you know, they, they took on a, a number of Marvel characters. And one of the more popular ones was Deadpool. Deadpool is a character has always done a little bit better in Japan. The movie did reasonably well that that helped. Um, I think the uh, style and the designs, it, it just, it, it, there's, there's less backstory you have to deal with. So Deadpool Samurai actually uh, started back uh, just at the end of last year, December 10th. And it's, uh, it's, it's quickly ranking up as one of the most downloaded, one of the most uh, popular items. Now, as I mentioned before, it's not apples to apples because it is coming out through their jump app. Their jump app is a subscription service. So you can't just immediately draw numbers. But if if you back in and if somebody really wants me to, and it depends on what the comments are, um, it's, it's just a matter of sitting down and doing all the, the equations. And it's probably worth doing at some point anyway, once a few more issues are out. You can take kind of, uh, you know, equatable material like My Hero Academia, like One Piece, like other things that are being served through that jump app. And you can start to pull some numbers based on the market share it's getting. Uh, it, but even at the surface, just looking at that balanced what it's doing, um, it is it is e it is easily uh, being consumed, being read. The unit sales, the unit reads are easily higher than any other book Marvel has going on right now. And by by an order of magnitude uh, higher, um, it, it is it is ridiculously popular, and uh, it it leads you to wonder. Well, I'll speculate here in a moment, um, but it, it, it's just it, there's so many things here. Okay, so first off, um, Marvel has had trouble in general breaking into Japan. Uh, they there's been efforts. Um, but when they've tried to do it, a lot of their conversions are poor. The money doesn't work out. It just, it, it never fits really well. Um, Shueisha is dominant in Japan, uh, and of course, with Jump and, and everything else that they have done. Um, and it, it's probably not surprising that they can do what Marvel has struggled to do, meaning, meaning get the comic to land in the country, get it in front of some other people and get some attention. And that is exactly what's happened. Uh, Marvel is undoubtedly getting some money off this, although knowing Shueisha, I would bet that the the kind of the license and and what they've been able to pull across is, uh, I, I don't know, I bet that Marvel's not getting much is is my is my point. Shueisha is pretty badass about uh, keeping a lot of that stuff to themselves. It's it's actually quite it's always quite impressive uh, what they what they are able to do in terms of licenses that they work for or, or work with. So I'm not, I'm not so sure uh, they're, they're making a ton off of it, but definitely Shoeisha is. And I, I think at, you know, no matter how you kind of cut it, this is the thing that's getting the most attention right now. There's no signs at the moment for this coming to the U.S. for them to actually, uh, you know, collect and print this over here, although undoubtedly they are, they're going to. Uh, I think that that's, yeah, that, that's definitely going to happen at some point here. Uh, but 
it's it's interesting to see something made for that market. And I don't know. There's, I've just got so many little thoughts. I mean, Sobolski spent so much time over there specifically to kind of understand that market. And so I'm not sure should I praise him for finally just making the decision to let somebody else take care of it, and they do, or should I kind of wonder what in the hell he learned while he was over there? I know I know the kind of jokes are going to show up in the comments, but I, but what what is going on? Um, it's it's I don't know. It, it's all very very confusing. But what we can say is this. You can make money off digital. The Shueisha subscription service and everything that they've got going on is financially doing very, very well. The printed reprints that they are doing are selling increasingly higher, not just in Japan, but also in the US and also over in Europe and also in South America. They're picking up speed very, very rapidly. Um, they, they, this model is, is working. And it's it's very interesting to see Shoeisha have such success. I'm very curious to see what happens if this serialized uh, you know bit makes its way over here and um, and does well. If it does, I think that's going to raise some eyebrows and some questions about who really should be producing these things in the future. I, I just I don't know. You just have to wonder. <laughs> <laughs> but it is doing uh, very well. Kasama-san is uh, very talented, um, so it helps when you have a, a very good uh, creator behind it who's pushing all this stuff, who also knows how to how to market. Uh, Ueski is uh, also very very talented, and and so all all a good uh, Hakara-san, I should say, is doing a very very good job. But anyway, uh, there you go. Your your most popular Marvel comic right now is Deadpool Samurai, over in Japan. Shipping through the uh, Shonen Jump Shueisha app, so so there you have it. Uh, meanwhile, in a um, uh, unrelated story, uh, Dynamite uh, has destroyed a number of Doctor Seuss parody comic covers. So they've got this book, Dynamite, which is the basically it's it's their Dynamite character shared universe going up against zombies. And uh, they, you know, they do some variant covers, which of course they do because it's dynamite. And weirdly, uh, dynamite strayed away from, you know, variant covers showing butts or cosplayer butts and instead decided to do a line in theory to support the Dr. Seuss's birthday. And so they, they did that. Um, but in that, in the covers, they feature things like Red Sonia being chased by Thing 1 and Thing 2, except Thing 1 and Thing 2 are drawn as zombies, and they're actually drawn kind of like, uh, uh, kind of, uh, I mean, kind of caricature black uh, native zombies. So, I'm not sure what the thinking was exactly there, but that comic came out, and then there's, uh, there's another with, uh, you know, some... Uh, some kind of Asian caricature people eating others. Uh, also, sort of like Dr. Seuss. I, I'll be honest. I have no idea what is going on here. Those titles are being destroyed. So uh, they are, they're actually going to pulp those covers. So if you happen to get this uh, variant cover of Dynamite, I think it's variant cover AE. Uh, Dynamite is the company that produces so many variant covers that they, uh, they, let, they label them with letters of the alphabet, but they exceed... 26 and have to start uh, going a a a b a c for their variant covers so in this case we have a variant cover i i'm being facetious i have no idea what letter the uh the dr seuss one and and frankly if i'm if you're hearing about it for the first time now you're not going to get it so <laughs> there you go um how are these two stories related i don't know just um uh you know on one hand japan is trying to figure out the best way to print and market the uh, wildly successful U.S. property that they are uh, shipping through their Shueisha app. And over in the U.S., we're pulping Dr. Seuss parody covers, uh, which, yeah. There you go. It's, uh, it's uh, the comic industry, everyone. There's a little something for everybody in there. Um, what do you think about all this? Are you interested in reading the Deadpool manga? Uh, would you like Shueisha to get more Marvel properties and just uh, you know make more characters over there and do more? I'm, I'm sure they wouldn't mind, uh, given the massive success they're getting off this one. Uh, technically... Uh, I, you know the, the story is that this is most popular. This is probably the most popular Western produced comic right now is uh, is this Deadpool manga, which is um, kind of hurt your head to think about, right? 
Anyway, would you read it? Let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe. You can follow me in the description of this video. I'm going to go take some aspirin. Thanks for listening.